1990. We're camping at Jenny Springs, which is north of Gainesville in High Springs, Florida. This is the back of our camp. And this is the trail. Out of Yep. I am down the trail out our back door. Walking down this trail. It's the way to the springs to go swimming. What, Ryan? Okay, again, we're at the springs. There's Matthew and Ryan and Chris. Everybody turn around and say hi. Hi. You didn't turn around. Hi. And Michelle's gone down this sandy trail over here. Let's see if we can find her. Let's see. She's in between them trees there. Look at Max, boy. No, Matthew. She's hiding from me. That's okay, we'll get her in a minute. Wait for a minute. Let's see, put it in the water. Put it in the water. Ryan, Ryan, you make him fall off them steps and you're going to get a spanking. Oh, then throw it in the water. There's the big crack over there. Oh, geez. Very pretty here. And it's, goes Chris. And it's almost shadow. really too deep for Matthew and I in this thing. She can't stay there forever. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Are you standing up, Michelle? Goofing off. Look how cool he looks. Doesn't he look so cool? Michelle going down the run again. She keeps trying to hide from me. Let me go down there and do some film. tricks, Michelle. You go down there and film. Huh? Go down here? I was gonna walk over there with it real quick. Go on his bed. 
no escape to me. Watch me, Daddy. Watch. Right.
Mom, it's cold. Yeah. Now? It is cold. It's that cold.
can't catch me. That's what, Mommy. No. Michelle, you can't catch me. You have a head start. <laughs> Come on, Mommy. Well, I got a good idea. Matt, Ryan, come here. I'll push on my back.
keep your hands up. Hello, Ryan. Hello. What you doing? I'm swimming. Well, then I'm swimming. Well, you just walk right here, sandy, out there, and then there's a sandy part all the way down. Look at this, Look at this. Well, let's go home now. Ready? Ready to go, Matthew? Let's go bye-bye. Over here. I'll get him in. Yes, there we are, the garbage truck. I'm getting close up of the bucket.
grass is up there top of the water. Well, so, no don't want no long nose guard to come bite my foot. Come on. Dun 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 Michelle the diver woman Go Michelle go We're all waiting You're on camera now Why don't you? What? Race with that alligator. Maya's The lake? Mommy! Mommy, we left the wrong place. We left. Oh no. We no, no, no. Daddy, come here. Come look at this. Come look at this. Daddy, come look at this. Come look at this. I will. Look out, whoa, whoa.
Ryan, did you go down and see the spring? I went down to see Dogwood Spring. Oh, is it fun? Hi, Matthew, are you cold? You've been swimming? That's the face of a cold little boy. You are going back down to the spring? We're going up to the ladder. Oh. Right now, where you want to go, isn't Matthew, what? Matthew, Matthew, why don't you want to look at mommy? Well, I guess he's not speaking to me, he's too cold. Oh well. June 23rd, 1990, and we're out camping at Salt Springs with yeah. Peepaw and Mimo and Tanya, Tanya and Stacy and Tanya. Danielle and Marky and Mark and Lynn and all of us guys. Sing, Matthew. Sing. Sing, you are my... Stand right there and sing more. You're getting too close. Okay. I guess you don't want to sing to it because you too, got too close. Okay, Tanya and Danielle, stand up so Cindy can see how tall y'all are since you're only three months apart. And they're both nine years old. Turn around, Danielle. That's the sunshine. Yeah. Hasn't been very sunshiny this trip. It's been raining just about the whole time. This is Fuzzy Nables. This is what? This is Fuzzy Nables, and I'm the uh, the uh, uh, official taster. Uh -huh. I have to check all of them to see if they're fit for consumption for the other kids. Or from my kids. So is your navel getting fuzzy now? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm here just drinking my beer. <laughs> She's on a diet. 
light, light beer, guys. This is Lynn. Hello. She's been dieting. Check it out. Yeah, we can tell. Me and my beer. <laughs> this is what it, this is what it takes to make fuzzy night. Oh. Very important stuff right here, guys. Matter of fact, what? the guys are on a. You use half vodka oh. and. Watch out. No, you use uh, uh, half vodka and half peach in a dash of. Uh, orange juice? Of orange juice. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds and yummy. Mark Doesn't and it to Kirk you? are gone to pick up a new supply. To oh, try yes. To get us through before. Until midnight, before the liquor stores. Uh huh. <laughs> Matthew, get away from the fire. That's my little fire bug. See our roaring fire? He's going to be a fireman when he's older. There's a tent the girls sleep in. Over there's where Kirk and Cindy and Matthew and Ryan sleep. Here comes my dad. Over there's the potatoes on the grill. Uh, here, here, here comes, comes Mima. She just shaved her under her arms. And Nino. Nino. Oh, Nino. Mima. Oh, Mima, you really did need to shave set. your underwear, underarms, underwears. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't Mima. drank anything today. Yeah, she has to shave her underwear. We took it to the trash. Nino. I use this box if I'm allowed. Yeah, that's what I put it there for. So how are but you enjoying your camping fine. trip, Mom? No, that's supposed to go in there. Huh? We've got a red bag we usually put in there. That didn't come? Here comes the, uh, here comes the supply of uh, fuzzy navels. Oh, yeah, here comes the new supply of fuzzy navels. Wait! keep all hot. Oh, beer? <laughs> oh! Not just fuzzy navels, beer. Now this is the camper that me, Mom, Peepaw, and Lynn and Mark are sleeping shrimp. in. This was give, Mark and Lynn's camper. Give them a, give them a tour of the camp area. And this was, now it's me mom. And Peepaw's camper. Now it's me mom and Peepaw's camper. We put this on and up. And just, Come here, fellas. Keep the rain off the picnic table, but it leaked real bad, so it didn't do much good. There's Mark with his Fuzzy yeah, navel. You, so and there's Kirk. And he doesn't Cindy, have a I fuzzy to tell navel. You, remember, it uh, sounds bad to stand there and talk on a camera. So. Yeah, I see that. I know what you're talking about. That's like Kirk cigar. and his beard. Like my cigar? Yeah, I like that cigar. Here the hiccups. He's had a few fuzzy navels. Did not. Did you bring back Dad the supplies for fuzzy navels? No. Uh-oh. All we did was bring back some orange juice. Uh-oh. No, there's other things out. There's Peepaw. He hates animals, as you here's, can tell. Here's some moose brain beer. When we were growing up as kids, he never allowed us to have a dog even in the house. And now look at him in his old age. Dog on his lap. And here's where the boys sleep in the back of Peepaw's truck. Easy. Oh, great. I'm already 200 pounds. That's what my aunt told me when I had the hiccups real bad in Canada one year. There's Lynn. Like oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. Any wise hey, words? Andy. Words of wisdom? Remember everything you say. Sandy, here again. <laughs> yes, people. He wants to go walking. <laughs> yes, people. Look. <laughs> Get, get him out there walking the, walking the dog. Here's I'm Matthew. The dog over. I'm playing basketball. Walking pebbles. I'm playing basketball. Go out there and walk up and down the road. Go walk pebbles.
Go up the dog. Go up that way. No. Walk the dog. Matthew. Matthew. Seize the. your trip to Florida. Hey, great. You gonna come back again sometime and see us? Say great. This is kind of similar to going to McDonald's uh, meal. You gonna bring your sister next time? How do you like camping? What? No. I like it but I don't like the rain. The rain? Me either. Sure made it a bummer trip as far as rain, huh? And we still had fun swimming. Sure did. It's not over yet. That's true. Get, hey, hey. Mark, take her loose there. Tissy for a walk. She's going to be willing now. Say, like, come on, Tissy. Take Go Sissy on. for a walk. Come on, Sissy. <laughs> Come on, Sissy. Go for Watch a walk. Watch the fire, Matthew. Watch the fire, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Go on for a walk, Sissy. <laughs> Sissy likes walking with Matthew. <laughs> hey, Pebbles, you sitting pretty? Showing us your little haircut. What time is it? Okay. Okay. Say hi, Cindy. Hi, Lynn. What are you doing right there? I'm putting on 12 birthday candles. Yeah, hi, Lynn. 12th birthday. Hi, Lynn. Yeah, so he's going to be a big 12 years old, huh? Yeah, he's going to be now. And who are you? Okay. That's Stacy. Happy birthday to you. That's the end. Over the table, behind the cabinet. All right, Stacy, how old are you now? Eleven. Yeah, she's ten. Uh -huh. She's ten. She's ten. Where is it? Where's what? Nine. Hello, Michelle. Is everybody around the table, including Chris, or what? Happy you. Okay, see if you can do it. Yay! I didn't think you'd be able to blow out all those candles, Chris. There was 12 of them there. All right, well, give me that cake and a uh, fork. I'm ready to eat. Yes, you ready to open your presents. Hand me my presents. 
Here, I'm gonna open this one up first. No. Hmm? Me. Me. You? No, me. And I'll be open. Wow. No, Chris. And it's his birthday. Oh. And happy birthday, Marcy. Happy birthday. birthday. It's his birthday. <laughs> I want y'all to notice the picture at the table. Lynn, I uh, met no, no, with Mark, the and I see y'all smile pretty, and you went. Look, open that up. Boy, I don't know. Make it it like one. It. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Hey. Oh, my. Fabulous Five, the Boys Only Club, and Chris, Beverly Chris, Cleary. Oh, Yay! Yeah. That looks like a Chris, snook. Chris, don't crumble that paper up, just tear it. Yeah, because we're we'll saving no, it. No, Stacy needs to it. Oh, Stacy needs to it. No, Stacy needs to it. I got 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 it. Yay! Hey, look on the back. It's oh, okay. turn slide on. It's a city scene. Matthew, let Chris. Chris. I'm going to make him call. Chris, hurry before he does it. Hurry before he does it. Hurry, Matthew, hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, yeah. Wow. Guess what I have at home. All right. Well, now you... Oh, it's a prime. Now you oh, cousins got one just like it. That's a power dozer, Meemaw. buddy. Meemaw. This thing runs off batteries, pal. Hey, yeah. We got some batteries. Oh. I need to Hurry, Matthew. Hurry, open it. Open it. Help. Help, Matthew. Matthew, Matthew. 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 Open it. Help. Open it. Don't check the open camera. Open it. Hurry, man. hurry, hurry. Oh, hey. Oh, man, that thing is cool. Chris, you didn't even look at it, man. That thing's cool. That goes with the shirt. Oh, oh. Pants? He's got an outfit, son. I do? You better believe it. thing looks cool, man. Oh, you got a beachy dude. Wait a minute. Matt, no. Let Chris. Uh, uh, uh. Hey. Hmm. I need S P A R K L E R S. Where's people? Now you got to be careful because some things like rolling rocks. Chill Okay, so go. Two. Good deal, Miss Snook, what else you got? You're making out. Oh, what, what is going on? It's, it's gone, look. It's gone, Mark. It's from Mark and Lou and Daniela Mark. All Thank right, you. a model. Thank look you, Look at Mark that. Man. Chevy Lumina. That's Mark's favorite car is a Lumina. Yeah, Lumina. Right, Mark? Calm Chris. down. <laughs> What's it look like? <laughs> Wait a minute, Ryan. Looks like a new thing. <laughs> You can't put it on dude. Oh. Looks like we can do it. Hey, thanks, Stacey, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, money's the best thing. Uh -huh. Hey, where'd it go? Oh. Just thank you. 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 Just thank no, this is going to have a little bit of 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 a so go ahead and get all that money, okay? Oh, it's not the idea, Michelle. No, I'm not getting that now. You sit right there, you get away. When you least expect it. It's not Chris's good. She's got Chris's good because it's a good one. This is you right here with that huge bubble gum there, bouncing the basketball and listening to the music. And there's the poor dog going, oh, save me. And then all the parents going, oh, no. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, my name is Chris. We're going to open it, Matthew. Open it, Chris. What does it say, Matthew? Does it say Chris on the front? Tell Stacy what it says. She doesn't know anything. Can I go to our camper and get some spoons, please? Yes. Spoons. 
Here, Ryan. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't have any spoons. Ryan, I got two. Let him see that. Let him see that. Let him see it. Let him see it. Here, Matthew. Look, Ryan. Let Chrissy and Chris. Hey, it's Chris's birthday. Hey, stop. It's not your birthday. Oh, look, amazingly, after he... ...to sing, and I had to dance, and I, I worked so hard this week, I've just, I've just been sucked dry. Oh, good. Yeah. Then we can let you go. Yeah. Well, go on! Johnny Depp and Peter DeLuise go undercover at a high school for delinquents and learn some tough lessons on an all-new 21 Jump Street, followed by Alien Nation. And next weekend, it's the series premiere of The Outsiders, executive produced by Francis Ford Coppola. Now, it's Gary Shandling's show is next. should know I'm the big fat yeast roll. You get man-sized steaks, our specialty. And the countryside board goes great with me. I'm the big fat yeast roll. We're Quincy's folks. We're just like you. We love cakes and cobblers and Sundays too. But most of all, we like folks like you. At Quincy's. A Red Hot Week starts with Valerie Bertinelli, Rudger Hauer, and author Bob Berkowitz on the next Arsenio Hall Show. Monday night on Fox 35. This is Fox. show night. We were just in the bedroom there horsing around. Well, I'm thrilled you're here, really. This is going to be great. Um, you go to high school? How many people went to high school? Some of you? I did, too. I once knew this uh, English guy got really drunk drunk and started to curtsy to the princess telephone. <laughs> well, you know what I hate? Those uh, moving walkways at the airport. Do you hate those? Have you ever been to the airport? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm going to get the door. Huh? Oh, I'll get the door. Oh, oh thanks. Oh, that was embarrassing, huh? Well, oh, not for me. This is how I work on the road. <laughs> never happen again, honey, oh, I promise. You're my man. Oh, so am I. <laughs> hey, newlyweds. Are you decent? <laughs> huh? Hey, it's Martin Mull. It's Martin Mull. <laughs> One holy land, you've seen them all, but uh, <laughs> I just want to tell you, my wife and I really loved 
the way you redecorated our apartment. Oh, oh great. It was, it, she was so surprised. Oh, it was, well, it was great. a pleasure, really. It Glad that worked out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We never got a bill for any of that. I guess all that uh, that new furniture is free. Uh, <laughs> you're so cute. I'll get the bill, Martin. It's right. Uh, okay. Oh, she's... She's hot. She's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Gary, you looking forward to the Boys Bill Banquet tomorrow night? Hey, your green beans go to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boys Bill Banquet. Yeah, well, that's going to be a blast. It's I'm excited. Be. Yeah. You got any new jokes? Yeah, seven. Seven? <laughs> me too. Seven. Really? Except, wait a minute. What? Who is it? What? <laughs> no, I got eight. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Oh, wait. <laughs> I still have seven. Here you go, Martin. There you go, Martin. Hey, well, Martin looks at the bill. Maybe this is a good time to play the opening theme. See you in 41 seconds. Called me up and asked if I would ride the steam car. I'm almost halfway finished. How do you like the show car? How do you like the theme to Gary show? This is the theme to Gary show. The opening theme to Gary show. This is the music that you hear as you watch the credits. We're almost to the part of where I start the whistle. Then we'll watch it's Gary Shandling show. Show. Baby, there's been a little mistake here. Is there a mistake, honey? No, 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 this is right. No, 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 isn't it just a trifle enormous? <laughs> no, I mean, unless this is in pesos. <laughs> I can't afford this. Oh, no, Martin, God, I'm really sorry, but, but actually that's a really reasonable figure. Oh, huh? yeah. Well, let's just get a second opinion, huh? Gary. Gary, I thought this was your phone number. Gary, look at this. $3,000 for a chair? Well, Martin, it's cheaper than building. <laughs> Martin, that was she that... She says it's fair, it's fair. That was that special chair that you wanted, remember? I mean, I went to three different stores to get you the best price. I really did. Uh, I don't really care fine. if you went to Buckingham Palace and brought back the throne. Hey, 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 hey. This is obscene. Martin, you don't come in here and talk fair. like that. <laughs> Your specifications, Mark. Well, yeah, but look, I'll write you a check. I'll write you a check in blood. Oh. <laughs> well, then we'll have to deposit it in the blood bank. <laughs> really sorry, honey. Do you believe no. he came in here and swore like that oh, in no. front of you and my viewers? That's. <laughs> and then he has the the nerve to complain about your bill. What an. I <laughs> It's Gary Shandling Show. It's brought to you by Buick and your Buick dealer. The great American road belongs to Buick. Some people think only foreign companies build quality cars. Now, according to an independent survey, an American car company offers you a choice of some of the most trouble-free cars you can own. That American car company is Buick. And the 1990 versions of those American cars are Buick LeSabre, Buick Riviera, and Buick Electra Park Avenue. We believe there's a new symbol for quality on the great American road. When I was a boy, we only ate chicken on Sunday. Now people want to eat chicken every day. So Wendy's has a lot of different chicken sandwiches. Our whole breast chicken filet, our chicken club with bacon, and our chicken parmesan with rich tomato sauce and mozzarella that's that Italian cheese. My daughter Winnie said, Dad, chickens are happening. Chickens are happening? Kids, come into Wendy's. We've got the best chicken sandwiches in the business. Not by the way it goes down to your side. Tail fins. 
drive-ins. Mustangs. You boys having car trouble? School dances. It was a time for growing up. Hey, Derry, when was the first time you did it? What? And forever staying young. I've wanted tonight for a long time. The Outsiders. Me too. Executive produced by Francis Ford Coppola. Series premiere next Sunday. And with your help, little Joey will find a place to live. <laughs> Welcome to the Boysville Banquet. Everyone's in a really good mood because they won their big football game against arch rival Girlsville. <laughs> Look at Martin Mull sitting there. <laughs> we haven't spoken a word to each other all night. He just sits there with that smug attitude. All right, now. Here we are. Enough of the sermonizing. It's time to hand out these prizes you've all been eyeballing all night long, haven't you? All right. And to assist me, our own Vanna White, Sister Agnes. Will you come in, Sister? The first prize, the first prize is going to be this protein clock radio. And the winning number is 241. 241. 241, right here. <laughs> Bless my soul. It's our newest celebrity from ABC's surprise hit, Full House, Mr. Dave Coulier. <laughs> Thank you very much, or as Tony Curtis would say, thank you for this wonderful, marvelous door prize <laughs> I love it. It's really a one. Have I mentioned yet that I am a major film star? <laughs> I don't have the ascot on, so it kind of threw you right now. But I love you, Spartacus. I really am in love with you. <laughs> you know, some like it hot, and if you like it hot, I have some hot paintings at an art exhibit this weekend. I hope you'll be there. A lot of new paintings. I hope you'll be there. Thank you. It's very hip, too. <laughs> now, our next prize. Oh, our next prize is a football autographed by every single member of the Notre Dame football team. Oh, you're going to have to pry it out of my hands. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll have to give it to number 72. Right here. It's Boysville's own Martin Moe. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Sister Agnes. I think we're all kind of wondering, when are you two going to get married? <laughs> Martin, Martin. <laughs> I want to talk to you in my office after the banquet. <laughs> well, it won't be the first time I've been hit below the belt this week. <laughs> you know, I'd like to take this opportunity on that, on that subject to announce that next week, there will be another benefit. Um, this time, it's for me. <laughs> Martin Mall, because I'm uh, broke. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I am. I, I got really taken to the cleaners by an interior decorator. This, well, let's, let's just call her Phoebe. I don't know why I didn't just take that money and just, just flush it right down that oh-so-fashionable one-size-fits-all onyx toilet she installed. <laughs> Boy, that thing can get cold in winter, I'll tell you, especially if you can't afford your, your heating bill. Martin, me boy? Oh. It sounds as though she robbed your blowing. Well, Father, you, you taught me not to swear, but uh, let's just say I got phoebe <laughs> Prize. Our next prize is dinner for two at one of my favorite restaurants, Yamashiro's. And the winning number is 108. 108. Does anybody have 108? Oh. Here. Ah, it's, oh. it's Gary Shandling's prize. Thank you, Father Bob. And uh, I guess we all know this is uh, really a worthwhile cause here tonight. And I'd just like to add that uh, Martin Mull's cheap. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, 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 Gary. <laughs> hey, you got me. You got me. I am cheap. Especially compared to this man. This Gary Shandling 
told me that tonight he is pledging $3,000 to Boysville. How about that? But you know, last night Martin said to me, Gary, if you're in for three, I'm in for five. Is that a guy? Is that a guy? Is that a guy? But Gary, not to be outdone, Shandling said, well, if you're in for five, I'm in for ten. <laughs> I'll tell you what really blew me away is when Martin last night said, hey, Little Joey can live with me. Is that... <laughs> Star Trek commemorative plates are handsome and built to last, each just $29.95. Mr. Chekhov plates $24.95. Our operators are ready to take your calls. Hi, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd like to order some, uh, I'd like to order 50. Well, make that 100, Mr. Chekhov plates. My name is Martin Mull. No, 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 I'm not that funny, really. I steal all my material from Gary Shambling. <laughs> really? Really, I do. 14 Elm Street, Brentwood. That's right. Uh, you know, you're a nice person. Kick in an extra $100 for yourself. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, Gary, I got some of your new Civil War chess sets here. I didn't order any chess sets. Well, someone did. There are hundreds of them piled up in the quad, brother against brother. Looks like Gettysburg out there. Oh, great, 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 great. You know what must have happened? Martin Mull obviously used my name and sent me these chess sets. Well, you know what? He's in for a little surprise because you know what he just did? He just ordered another 150 Lieutenant Uhura plates. <laughs> That's right. And let me tell you one thing. He's going to be sorry he ever started this little feud. I'm not kidding. Gare. I know feuds, and with all due respect, this is not a feud. This is more of a glorified hissy fit. Hissy fit? What do you mean, hissy fit? This is not a hissy fit. Gary, me and my brother-in-law, Gerald, now that was a feud. Now, I don't want to brag, but let me just say that after a few well-placed phone calls, his two-story colonial became a houseboat. <laughs> like the way you think. <laughs> Take this. Another time, I took a cucumber and stuck it up the tailpipe of Gerald's Mercedes. Ow. <laughs> see, what that does is cut off the cross. You're Sir Gary. <laughs> because you like Sundays to be all downhill. It's the right beer now. If you're the type who will go to the mat for a good time. It's the right beer now. Because out here, not everything hibernates for the winter. So reach for the silver bullet, the one that won't slow you down. Cause like, yeah, it's the right beer now. I'm real aware as to what's going on with my body. I have taken pain relievers that have the ingredient ibuprofen in it, and sometimes they have irritated my stomach. I did just recently talk to my doctor, and she recommended Tylenol. Because it won't cause the stomach irritation that ibuprofen can. Linda Mulhauser trusts Tylenol. Its pain reliever is in a class by itself. I always make sure that I have it, and I just continue using it, because I trust it. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer. Give your breath long lasting freshness. Can the Jump Street cops still cut it undercover, or are they losing their touch? This didn't happen because we're old. It happened because... Just get me down! 21 Jump Street, Monday. Dear Mother Babies, I wish you'd come to my town. Dreams do come true. Hey, everybody! 
We've got a show to do. The Muppet Babies are coming to your town with a whole new show. Don't miss the fun showing now through Sunday at the Tupperware Convention Center. Good seats available at all Ticketmaster locations or buy them at the door. Laughs are on tap. Cheers, weeknights. Dateline, Hollywood, there's a terrible tiff in Tinseltown. Funny man Gary Shandling says he won't be going to the Academy Awards because he doesn't want to run into funny man Martin Mull, who will be there. It's the latest chapter in the bitter Shandling Mull feud, now in its third bizarre week. Early, the rumor ran rampant that Shandling was canceling his own show, but it turned out that Mull started the story. Later, a telephone company crew dug up half of Martin Mull's front lawn, but they turned out to be Shandling sidekicks. Pete Schumacher and Leonard Smith. Who knows what's next? Bill Harris in Hollywood. We'll talk again. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, Martin, it's me, Phoebe. Be uh, careful, Martin. This could be a trap. <laughs> um. Come on in, Phoebe. Oh, up nice. home. Okay. All right, she might be a decoy. Well, Martin, Please. you know, I, um, I just thought that since I helped start this whole thing, maybe I could help make peace. Peace, huh? Yeah. Well, I have to admit that would free up some time for me to make a living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I know what you mean. Frankly, we're pretty sick of getting all those chess sets, you know, and the Sybil Shepherd albums, too. Wow. <laughs> Phoebe, I did not send you any Sybil Shepherd albums. Oh, really? Nope. Oh, I guess Gary really is a fan. <laughs> he is a nut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess I've been kind of hard on him. Well, you know, Phoebe, I'm glad you came. Martin, uh, yes. I don't hear the vacuum. Um, <laughs> uh, we have company, honey. Uh, Joy, this is Phoebe. Hi. Oh, so you're the bitch who cleaned us out, huh? <laughs> I came here to try and patch things up. Good. Really. Good. Then take back this crummy furniture and put on some weight, you little stick. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, you look lovely in this light, Angel. Oh. Let me ask you a question. Did you make love today? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Marty and I made love four times today, didn't we, Marty? Technically. <laughs> I guess your husband thinks you're an old battle axe. Not that he's any day at the beach with those big lips of his. <laughs> Must be like making love to a catcher's oh. mitt. Good, get out. Go back to that big lip thing. Biggest. Oh, I had a boy, Joey. So, Gary, this is Martin Mull's swimming pool. This is his driveway. All right, all right. We take the coal truck and we back it up to the pool and voila! Let me make our getaway, see? <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> his whole pool becomes a shallow end. <laughs> Honey, look at this. Wait to hear what we're gonna do. Hey, Gary, I've just been to Martin Mull's house. What are you doing at Martin Mull's house? Are you crazy? Oh, brother, you should hear the things that gross wife of his said about Oh, him. and after I played the accordion at their wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Look at this. I got cherry bombs. Oh. Wow. Cherry bombs. <laughs> Honey, I have never loved you more than I do right now. You're my man, honey. <laughs> How's the steak, honey? It's dry as dust and tough as leather. You know, I try and I try. You must know that. What's that noise? You hear that? Yeah. There's somebody on the roof. You hear that? It's them. It's them. Clean this all up. <laughs> the smudge stops here. New anti-smudge mascara from CoverGirl. 
Rich, rich color that's very anti-smudge. Outstanding definition that's very anti-smudge. Long, long wear that's very, very smudge-proof. New anti-smudge mascara. It doesn't mess around. America's look is cover girl. Something's coming. Oh! Something evil. Consider the consequences if it came from the same planet that enslaved my people. Alien Nation, Monday on Fox. Joy, come on. A little bit of alphabet soup, huh? <laughs> well, maybe just some consonants. Oh, oh boy. Martin, we are so sorry. Really. Yeah, you ought to be proud, huh? She's in a coma. I can't top that. <laughs> Martin, we would have never thrown the cherry bomb down there if we'd known she had a heart condition. Well, she had a lot of things that people didn't know about. A heart condition, arthritis, gallstones, gout. <laughs> That's probably what accounted for a lot of her mood swings. Is she going to be all right? Well, sure, you know, with the best of medical attention. Of course, I frivolously spent all our money on furniture. <laughs> I know it's all our fault, Joy. If you could hear me, we're sorry, really sorry. Phoebe and I, I guess this thing's all got out of hand. Ah! Oh. We win, we win! Uh, <laughs> not dying? Hell no, I'll dance on your graves. You just gave me a little asthma attack. Oh. And we be very shelling. We be very shelling. Get a cherry bomb. Get a cherry bomb. Get a cherry bomb. What, what, what is going? On in here. Nothing? Oh, you two and your famous feud. This is a place of healing, not a playground for two spoiled Hollywood brats. Oh, spare us this holier-than-thou attitude, Padre. If you had seen this chick's decorating bill, you'd have put her on the first bus to hell. You know, the church once had a problem with an interior decorator. He took too long. He spent too much money. And he gave us something we didn't even want. Ha, ha! That decorator's name was Michelangelo. And the Sistine Chapel was the best investment we ever made. Devil, ha! Huh? And you not <laughs> hold your tongue. No one deserves to gloat when two best friends are at each other's throats. So, Gary, Martin. I want you to shake hands. Come on, come on, boys. Do it for me. Go on, shake. <laughs> Go ahead and shake hands. Hey, get a load of my soup. Father, would God really reveal himself to us in a bowl of soup? Now, my son, the good Lord appears to us in many different farms. Did he say farm or form? Gary, I'm sorry. Me too, Martin. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 none of that. Now you know the rules. Six inches apart. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Oh, just doing my job, darling. Just... Doing me job. Yeah. Joy, honey, honey, you're eating the miracle. I'm hungry. Shut up and get me some saltines. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> anyway, that's our show for tonight. And I think it was a pretty good one, considering I forgot that there was one in the first place. <laughs> and uh, as a gesture of reconciliation, Martin? Yeah. Would you like to do the closing monologue? Well, Carrie, that's really, it's my guess. Very sweet of you. I would be deeply honored. I, I hope I do a good job. Have a good time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Martin Mall. Thank you.
Maybe, as I told you earlier, I just got back from the, uh, the Holy Land. And, uh, well, you know, those people over there, they don't like Tomorrow night, a high school for troubled teens spells nothing but trouble for two undercover cops. Johnny Depp and Peter DeLuise star in an all-new 21 Jump Street, followed by Alien Nation. And one week from tonight, it's the premiere of a new series for television, The Outsiders. It's Super Spring Savings Time at Recreational Factory Warehouse and your last chance to save before summer price increases on all pools and spas. 24-foot pool packages with filter, ladder, and accessories only $9.99. 18-foot packages $8.99 and 15-foot packages just $7.99. All complete and all installed free. That's right, have your pool installed free. Quantities are limited and at these prices, stock won't last long. So see Saturday's paper and hurry to Recreational Factory Warehouse in Orlando and Melbourne, your backyard superstore. Ah, uh, what could be better than mom, apple pie, and great values at Publix? Like a free 16-ounce loaf of thin-sliced sandwich rye with the purchase of baked glazed ham from the deli, only $2.49 a pound. And Lender's Frozen Bagels, four packages for $3, as well as Philadelphia brand cream cheese, just 89 cents for eight ounces. Hurry up, guys, you're missing a great game. <laughs> Their job isn't easy. Well, we were due to have something good happen. Blank and you're gone. But they wouldn't have it any other way. Hunter, weeknights. Not yet. You didn't let this get cold again, did you? It's fine. If you need me for anything else, I'll be working on my new screenplay. Desmond, I love you very much. Love you too. sleeps here. Did you tell anyone I'm working with you? No. And it hasn't been easy, Mr. Williams. But I kept my promise. Mm. Please. Okay. 
I've come to realize the one gift I possess is a great eye for talent. Lily Lita was, without question, a great actress, but in this film, a scandalous woman, I showed the world her true magic. What did she have? Character. I'm not sure I understand. You'll see. The femme fatale I created for a scandalous woman was Glenda, gunmall to the vicious gangster Eddie Dugan. Played by Ronald Redwood. My Lily was tough, determined, and very sensual. Now, forget everything you have been taught. Learn from what you see. talented as my lily. She hasn't a clue how to play this scene. That cop will never get his cuffs on me. No. King, that flame broil taste you've always loved is about to take a new turn to chicken. Introducing the BK Broiler. For a chicken sandwich with that flame broil taste, sometimes you've got to break the rules. 
And now, Burger King is turning hours into seconds. Because after 4 p.m., when you buy one BK Broiler Flame Broiled Chicken Sandwich, you get a second for just 99 cents. For a great deal on a great-tasting chicken sandwich, sometimes you've got to break the rules. Unstoppable. Bob Marley, Lakeshore Utility. In the world of cons... Why do they have our television? Eddie's a pro. Hello! Greetings, my name is Douglas. Dana Carvey in Opportunity Knox. Rated PG-13. Sneak preview next Friday and Saturday night. I am the Colgate Wisdom Tooth, so I know biceps are not needed to fight tartar. You just need brains to buy Colgate Tartar Control. So don't brush hard, brush smart with Colgate. Colgate Tartar Control, the wise choice. I am the Colgate Wisdom Tooth. Your toothpaste should last through extra innings. So for lasting refreshment, Colgate Tartar Control. Anything else is out. Colgate Tartar Control, the wise choice. What's it take to win in college basketball? What's it take to win in 7-Up's college basketball championship game? That hard work could win you a limited edition Ford Mustang or a chance at prizes worth $20 million. So start practicing. 1 in 12 are winners.
Good morning, party animal. So, what time did you finally get in? I don't know, 4.45 or something. What'd you boys do? Teaching Johnny to play chess. That's funny. Uh, he mentioned something about hot videos. Chess videos? What are you looking for in there, anyway? I'm not sure yet. Uh, there's been another disappearance. Another actress? Mm-hmm. That's six in a month. I'm just looking for movie or theater-related objects. Who knows? How's the new script coming? Slow. I'm not as inspired as I used to be. Because you waste your energy taking care of me. Why don't you stop writing just for a while? There's no place in the world for the films we used to make. You can't recreate the past. Maybe. Maybe not. Lily, darling, would you mind if I went out for a couple of hours tonight? <sighs> the manager of the Eglinton invited me to a retrospective of my films. Now you go on. Have a good time. But watch out for those young girls. <coughs> His work is incredible, Johnny. My film teacher says he's one of the true masters of film noir. Film what? Film noir. It's French for dark film. You know, as in evil or corrupt. Aaron, look, I'm sure this is a great film, but they play this stuff on TV all the time. Johnny, what? I told you, this is my favorite film. All right. Come on. All right. I'm sure it's going to be great. You'll love it. It's extremely romantic. Two, please. Romantic. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, yes. we're pleased to have the filmmaker here tonight, a cinematic legend, Mr. Desmond Williams. <laughs> now, if those of you who would like to discuss the film with Mr. Williams would please come down front, we can get started. Where are you going? Share my thoughts with someone who understands. And this is the fifth time I've seen a felony life. It gets better every time. Well, thank you. I'm glad the magic still works after all these years. What I really want to do is direct. Is there any advice you could give me? Actually, I'm considering giving a course in directing. If you want to give me your number, I'll, I'll contact you when that happens. 555. Five, five. One, three, eight, six. Oh, thank you. Mr. Williams, my name is Chrissy Sloan. Take my number, too. Five, five, five. Eighteen, sixty-two. Let's not waken Lily. Mr. Williams, it's so kind of you to let me stay here tonight. Well, don't worry. We have plenty of room. Are you sure your wife won't mind? Yeah, not at all. She loves company. I can't believe I'm getting a private screening of a scandalous woman. 
I must have seen it at least 50 times. Well, perhaps tonight you'll see it in a different light. Yes, you do. You can fix it so we can be together. Always. I thought you said you cared about me. I do. I want you to prove you love me like I prove it to you. As long as she's out here, I have to keep going back in there, get it? If she's gone, I could stay. Next time. Next time, next time. It's the same old story. You promised to put her in the picture and let me stay out here, but you never do it. So, Desmond, I'll give it to you straight. If she's still here next time, you and I are finished. Well, darling, be reasonable. Do it, Desmond, or I'll find somebody who will. Monday, the Jump Street cops go undercover at a school for delinquents. I like the hair. Very full. Nice sheen. But Ow. are they losing their touch? Don't look at me like that. This didn't happen because we're old. It happened because... Just get me down! An all-new 21 Jump Street. Then, something's coming. Ah! Something evil. Consider the consequences if it came from the same planet that enslaved my people. Alien Nation, right after 21 Jump Street, Monday. This is Mako's Ambassador Paint Service. Just $169. We professionally prepare your car. We chemically clean it, surface sand it, and give it a high-grade oven-baked enamel finish from over 7,000 colors. All backed in writing in over 400 centers coast to coast. Mako's Ambassador Paint Service. The best value for your money. Just $169. If you want high-quality work for this kind of price, you better get Mako. Well, this elderly gentleman walks up to me in the pharmacy and says, You're the pharmacist? Well, I have neckties older than you. Eckert Pharmacist, Patty Carr. Well, at first, some of my customers were surprised to see someone so young. But as soon as they realized that I knew my business and that I cared about them, Penny. it wasn't long before they were asking for me by name. Oh, thank you, Lily. Bye-bye, Patty. You get to feeling better, Bob. We'll go dancing, okay? You bet. You know, I think they're getting used to me. Turned on the TV to see what's on. Sparks flying everywhere. Something's wrong. Well, it should have been. Should have been a Curtis Mathis. It should have been the Curtis Mathis spoiler. The spoiler includes a 19-inch color TV, stereo with dual cassette, and a VCR, all in a beautiful cabinet for only $19.95 a week. And is covered by our exclusive six-year customer protection plan. See the white pages of your phone book for the Curtis Mathis dealer nearest you. Should have been a Curtis Mathis. Should have been. What's the secret to pop secret microwave popcorn? Perfect popcorn popped under perfect conditions. Pop secret leaves very few on pop kernels. Pop secret from Betty Crocker. It's the only way to pop. Now, Pop Secret knows the secret to winning great prizes instantly. Prizes like Hawaiian Tropic Sun Care products, a cruise on Carnival, or $25,000. The Pop to Win game is on every bag, so to win. Sorry I woke you. Are you running our film again? <coughs> oh, yes, my darling.
Hi, guys. Hey, Johnny. How's it going? Not well. What's the problem? Some actresses disappeared recently, and Mickey has the, uh, the hunch that it's something to do with a cursed object. And? And nothing in the manifest fits. See, Lewis sold a Victorian costume, mail, makeup case returned, movie camera returned, and an old 60 millimeter movie print. I'm going to check Lewis's files and see if he has anything on cursed movies. Good idea. I think the movie last night I saw was cursed. Mm -hmm. Cost me a beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> All right, what was the movie? Some moth-eaten thing called A Felony Life. A Felony Life? Hey, Lord, I haven't seen that in years. I wish I could say the same. Oh, no, come on, Johnny. That was, that was one of those great tear-jerkers of its time. I hated it. <laughs> And I hated the way Aaron drooled over Desmond Williams afterwards. Desmond Williams was there? Oh, I'm sorry I missed that. He was one of the really great directors. He married that wonderful Lily Lita. They did um, A Scandalous Woman together. You ever see that? No. Scandalous Woman? Yes. Oh, they did a whole string of hits together, and then she retired to be his wife. That was big news back then. Well, if you want to see him, he lives in town. I wonder if Lily Lita's still alive. Last I heard, she was an invalid, I think. Jack? Hmm? The Scandalous Woman was the name of the movie that Lewis sold. Perhaps wallpapering the bedroom is too extravagant. Maybe we should wait until you sell the new screenplay. Desmond? Desmond, are you all right? Yes. Oh, yes. You've been working too hard. Maybe you should stay out of the study for a while. millimeter movie print. Sold to D.W. Desmond Williams. And locally, parents of a Pleasanton girl are searching for their daughter who came here last night for a special film screening. Guys. Christine Sloan was planning to attend a showing of the 1939 film A Felony Life. Mr. and Mrs. Sloan are not sure how Christine traveled here or if she even made it to the screening. She was there. Our local I saw authorities her. are asking for your assistance in helping to locate her. Mickey, I think we better go and have a talk with Mr. Williams. I'll come too. No, Johnny, you go and visit that desk sergeant friend of yours. Find out if Williams had any contact with the other missing women. Hmm? Sorry, officers. Anyone under 30 looks the same to me. Okay. Sorry for disturbing you, Mr. Williams. No bother. Well, good night, sir. Good night. I want you to prove you love me. Me. I sure as hell been proving it to you. Desmond! Desmond! Yes, Lily? Darling, if you're not terribly busy, could you come up here for a minute? Of course, my darling. Together. Always. 
I want you to prove you love me like I prove it to you. There's no place in the world for the films we used to make. If she's gone, I could stay. I love you very much. Do it, Desmond, or I'll find somebody who will. Desmond! What happened? The cup slipped. I'm sorry, I'll get you another. Oh, I'll be fine without it, my love. It's no problem. Mr. Williams, I apologize for coming to your home like this, but I didn't know of any other way to talk to you. What do you want? I saw your film the other night, and I was, well, really inspired. Thank you. I'm Mickey Foster. Could I have some of your time? Not right now. I need to talk to you about a movie print that you bought, a film called A Scandalous Woman. Perhaps I can give you a moment in my screening room. Make yourself comfortable. I want to make sure my wife is asleep. And then we'll talk. interested in buying the print. Well, I haven't thought about selling it. Maybe we should run it first. See if you like it. Officers, this isn't really what it looks like. <laughs> How'd it go? Came back for something only you could give me. Yeah. What's that? A light. Have you ever wanted to be in the movies, Miss Foster? No, not really. I want you to be around when this was over. Maybe I will be. It's quite an experience. I don't think so, doll. When I was a boy, we only ate chicken on Sunday. Now people want to eat chicken every day. So Wendy's has a lot of different chicken sandwiches. Our whole breast chicken filet, our chicken club with bacon, and our chicken parmesan with rich tomato sauce and mozzarella. That's that Italian cheese. My daughter Wendy said, Dad, chickens are happening. Chickens are happening. Kids, come into Wendy's. We've got the best chicken sandwiches in the business. At Western Union, we not only invented the business of sending money, we've been perfecting it ever since. Still, you could try using someone else. You could also go clam digging in a minefield. Western Union, why even consider anyone else? Unstoppable. From Touchstone Pictures, Richard Gere is looking for the perfect woman. A woman with sophistication. Get rid of your gum. I don't believe you did that. A woman with style. 
with big old suckers. A woman with taste. Nice tie. She's everything he could want. I'm not trying to land him. I'm just using him for sex. And a lot more than he can handle. Fasten your seatbelt. Richard Gere, Julia Roberts. Wherever did you find her? 976, babe. Pretty Woman, rated R. Starts Friday at a theater near you. Hello. Hello. You may be wondering what this parrot is for. Well, as you know, Ed is always on the lookout for new marketing techniques. So to introduce our exciting new Bartles and James Black Cherry Wine Cooler, Ed has been teaching the parrot to say, fabulous fresh fruit flavor. Oh, fabulous black cherry flavor. Thank you. Thank you. Please try our new cooler. Fabulous black cherry cooler. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. And thank you for your support. Oh, thank you for your support. How did I get here? What is this place? You feel so good. Did you do it? Is she dead? No. I couldn't do it. Cops are never gonna get their cuffs on me. Get her out of here. Where are you going? As long as she's alive, I'll never be free of that damned film. If you're not man enough to kill that old bitch, I'll find someone who...